So excuse me if you can hear squeaking. I brought one of those gym balls because if I'm banged up here for 28 days, I'm sure as hell I'm not sitting on that uncomfortable chair straight bed. So I received this letter. Dear Rachel, not even my surname, so I crossed it out, put heart. I'm writing to inform you that you've been detained in the hospital whoo, under Section 2 of the Mental Health Act 1983. Now my maths isn't good, but that's about 35 years old, isn't it? Please find in close a leaflet that explains why you've been detained on the section. I know goddamn why. If there's anything you do not understand about your care and treatment, please speak to your name nurse. Except it doesn't tell you who it is. Yours sincerely, blah, 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 blah. And it goes on. Admission to hospital for assessment. Section 2 of the Mental Health Act 1983. Patient's name, Rachel Hart. Name of person in charge, Dr. Vincent. Name of hospital ward, blah, 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 blah. Why am I in hospital? You were being kept, sorry about this, it keeps making a noise. Why are you being kept in hospital under Section 2 of the Mental Health Act 1983? You've been examined by two doctors and they think you have a mental disorder and must stay in hospital so the person in charge of your care, your responsible clinician, can find out what's wrong and how to help you. Good luck with that because I don't say a fucking word. How long will you be here? You can be kept here for up to 28 days. Good, I need a holiday. During this time, you must not leave unless your responsible clinician tells you that you may. If you try and leave, staff can stop you. If you do leave, you can be brought back. If you're already being kept in hospital under Section 4, fuck knows what that is, of the Mental Health Act, then the time you've already been in hospital counts as part of the 28 days. In your case, 28 days ends on 28th of the 9th, 2020. Excuse me again. Oh, which bit did I want? I only want this bit. If you, no, sorry, if you do not want to contact the advocacy service yourself, you can ask a member of staff to contact the advocacy service for you. You can also ask your nearest relative to contact the advocacy service for you. Well, I ain't got one really, to be fair. Letting your nearest relative know. My dad's 70, shielded from coronavirus, who can do with that all this shit. My mum's a witch and I wouldn't approach her anyway. There is a list of mental, there is a list in the Mental Health Act who are treated as your relatives. Normally the person comes highest in that list is your nearest relatives, well they're miles away. The hospital staff can give you a leaflet which explains this and what rights your nearest relatives have in connection with your care and treatment. And this is blank. In your case, we've been told your nearest relative is no one. If you do not want this person to receive a copy of this leaflet, please tell your doctor or nurse or another member of staff. You'll have a job because you left it fucking blank. Changing your nearest relative, I'm on 5%. Um, if you do not think this person is suitable to be your nearest relative, you can apply to the county court for someone else to be treated as your nearly rel nearest relative instead. The hospital staff can give you a leaflet on how to explain this. Now, I've had a damn good look for leaflets and I have found one. Your letters. All letters sent to you while in hospital will be given to you. So are my Amazon parcels, which I'm very grateful for. You can send letters to anyone except someone who has said they do not, want to, do not want to get letters from you. Sorry about that, Helena. Letters to those people can be stopped by hospital staff. Good luck. Code of practice. There is a code of practice that gives advice to the staff in the hospital about the Mental Health Act and treating people for mental disorder. The staff have to consider what the code says when they make decisions about your care. You can see a copy of the code if you want. 
Do you know what I'm going to do with this now? That's my opinion. <laughs>